Plenty of time. I'm your consultant. Of course, we can make it work. Your feelings are affecting your performance. I don't know. I've been making a lot of progress. Denver would have been proud. Look, mate. I know it's been difficult, but we both know Denver is dead. She's not dead. We broke up. A year ago. You've got the rest of your life to get over it. It's easy for you to say. Okay, so, you got anything new? Oh, yeah, actually. No, apart from the juggling. Oh, no. Well, I did. Got a new version of the balloon sword. Ready? All right. <laughs> I got half another. Right. Okay. Right. Make a coochie. Make four balls. Take the penis. Push it through the coochie. Classy. <laughs> I know. Oh, sorry guys, I thought you were done. Hey, Bopsy, it's Oscar and Mike. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, Bopsy, how's it going? Good. Just putting the finishing touches on our show. We're touring the Midwest starting next week. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, we're still doing the birthday party circuit. That must be rewarding. It is. Hi, Mike. Hi there. Well, uh, I think we can call it a day. We got the uh, the whirly gigs, and then the hat business, and then we finish the jazz hands. That should be enough. Oh, before I forget, Mike was just showing me how to make a new version of a balloon sword. Oh, show us! I love balloon animals. <laughs> cool. Um, so, what is it? You first uh, first you make a coochie. There you go. And then you make a few balls. And then you take the penis and you put it through the coochie. And voila! I think it looks more like a butthole. Yeah, that, that, that's a sphincter. Uh. Aloha. 
How was last night? I have absolutely no idea, home slice, so it must have been fantastic. <laughs> Did you meet anybody? Did I meet anybody? Um, yes? No. Probably? I'm gonna go with probably. Well, can you at least remember his name? Pretty sure it was goodbye, have a nice life. And dude, what the F? Wow, you are such a stud. I could teach you a thing or three, lady. Do you mind if I... Um, don't mind me. Don't worry, I'm fully armed in case of you know. Oh my god. What? 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 <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Laura, why would you do that? Because it's funny. You only hate clowns because they're trendy. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm seeing a therapist. How often do you see clowns on a daily basis? I don't know if they're gonna come on in commercials. I can never go to the circus. Who goes to the circus? What decade is this? Look, it's like my one thing, okay? And I told myself that this year I was gonna find- Shit, I gotta take this, sorry. Amy, hi, how was the presentation? <clears throat> Amy, I'm sorry, can you hold on for just a brief second? Thanks. What? Wanna smoke some weed? Oh, I'm working. Come on, we could get shwasted and spend the rest of the afternoon watching cartoons. Or we could do this. I could finish this call and you could discover the joys of meditation. I don't like meditation. I tried it once. I didn't get relaxed fast enough. Now a bong, on the other hand. I'm so sorry, Julie. Amy. Amy, I am so sorry, Amy. Okay, this is the final image I want to show you for today. How scary is this on a scale of one to ten? Seven. Okay, so in a moment we'll go next door. Um, how many exits are there? Don't worry. I'll be in there with you. Is the clown going to be in there when I arrive? No, you'll enter first and then the clown will be brought in. Or should I say clowns, plural? Um, how many clowns? Two. So, make yourself comfortable and I'll send in the clowns. It's hot. Look, I, 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 I don't think I can go in there. Not unless I'm heavily armed or heavily sedated or both. They're gonna eat me. Do you really believe that's going to happen? Uh, well, uh, no, you're right. Well, of course you're right, you're right. They're not going to eat me. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so moving on, both literally and figuratively. a big step you made today. And you certainly don't have to fear a clown. And remember, the more we expose you to it, the more your anxiety will lift. You know, you and I should have dinner sometime. Thank you for the invite. And think about it. I make a great Vietnamese souffle. Well, um, I'm gonna go. So I'll see you next week. Au revoir. You were 
you're totally staring. Me? Yes, you. Do I know you? Really? Let me guess. You're single? Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Can't believe you just said ouch, but nobody's perfect. So, um, what do you do for a living? Mind reader. What? No, you're not. <laughs> See, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> hey, that was good. Nice. Regaining your composure. I like it. Do we know each other? You know, we were doing so well. And then you had to resort to pick up line 101. Oscar, um, Davis. Um, is your middle name? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Hazel, Westmore. Well, it was a uh, really nice to have met you. Have a nice life. Look at this. Great. On the clown scale, it goes theater clown, circus clown, hospital clown, rodeo clown, birthday party, street performer, jester, mine. He's on the bottom rung. What about your mother? She fits in there somewhere. I've got something to fit in your mother. Pressing to see this. We should make it our mission to crush him. So stressed. I wish I smoked. You should take up crack. Make a man out of him. Why don't you gotta show me this bozo's poster? He's no bozo. Fact is, he's not better than us. He performed the lowest in our class, remember? Yeah. Lowest in the class. Lowest with morals. Denver wasn't entirely innocent. Look, what's the solution then, huh? More birthday gigs, more corporate jobs? The truth is there's a huge gulf between what we're doing and what he's doing. Don't get me wrong, I like what we're doing. We're our own boss, but the truth is I want to move things forward, give ourselves a promotion. Beyond us getting a grant, which is notoriously difficult, I don't know. Maybe we should just get out of here for a while, take a vacation. Yeah, we could go to Europe, maybe go to England, visit the motherland. England? I thought you were from Australia. Hey, what's that dish called? Frog in a puddle? Toad in the hole. Mm -hmm. Sounds awful. Anyway, your weather there's notoriously shitty. Have you ever had a winter in Chicago? Look, fact is, we could have been in New York right now doing an off-off Broadway show. But oh no. Fuck New York. Typical Chicagoan bullshit. The pizzas are too thin, the pizzas are too thin. You know, I'm gonna fuck you right in the wind trap. What? The belly button. Guess who I ran into earlier? Gandhi? No, it was the woman we were entertaining, Hazel. Oh, she was insane. No, she had a phobia. Phobia my ass, mate. She was mad. Suppose you could have sex with her, at least. We had a connection. A connection? Listen, a bit of rebound minge never hurt anybody. Doesn't matter who it is, mate. Minge is minge is minge. So if you meet this, uh, Emma? Hazel. Hazel. Hmm. Where would you take her? All the way. <laughs> uh, I've got to create two online apps and they've got to be easy to use. Easy to use from whose perspective? So instead, you're getting high. Have to. Otherwise, I'll build four apps and have no social life. I thought you were going for that senior position. I was. I wouldn't have enough time for fun and games. Quit smoking weed and you might be more productive. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, everything in moderation, including moderation. Wait a second. <laughs> Did you tell me just now that you're going on a date? Don't worry, I'll identify your body. Yeah, like I told you like a week ago. You did? 
Holy shit, did I just time jump? No, I was exaggerating. It was like 10 minutes ago. Oh, thank God. Thought I was going to have to call up one of my buddies at CERN and have him test this. Okay, just give me the abridged version, then I'm going to eat a chocolate sheet cake. Well, uh, he's... he's funny. That means he's ugly. No. He's cute. But you said he was funny first. When you say a guy's funny is the first thing to describe him, that means he's ugly. It's just the way it is, Hayes. Sorry. Well, he... Uh, he likes games. It will never work. You hate games. That is not strictly true. Okay. What was the last game you played? Um, what is that one with the board and the dice? It's like all board games ever invented. Ever. No, it isn't. Alright, just don't come crying to me when he asks you what your favorite game is. He is never going to ask me what my favorite game is. So what's your favorite game? Oh, uh, I, I love them all. <laughs> love games. Ooh. Love games. <laughs> but not in relationships. I do not do well with that. <laughs> I, I went on this date with this guy online and he turned up dressed like a pirate. What? Mm -hmm. In a hat, parrot. He had a live parrot? Yes, a real parrot. And he called me matey. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, did he have a pirate ship? No, 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 no. He nicknamed his car the Pirate oh Ship. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I, I also got out of a relationship recently. Okay. Well, it ended about a year ago. What happened? I'm not sure. Um, I, uh, I thought we were going to get married, but uh, she had this idea of what she wanted me to be, and it wasn't me. She played games. I think I'm more like you, you know, I, I just see things in black and white. me for a friend of mine, former friend, he's a mime. Well that's different. Hmm. So she left you for your friend? Mm. She sounds like a bitch. <laughs> so you said you worked in an office? What uh, is it that you do? Yeah, I worked at an insurance company downtown. Which one? Current Western. Mm, I've never heard of it. It's pretty new. So how's it going? It's going. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you the truth, I can't wait to get out of there. It's just, it's terrible. It's destroying my will to live, really. When I look at you, I think. Well, so what do you see yourself doing? Well, I, I want to freelance. As what? That's what I need to figure out. I really like what I do, but I mean, my life is not perfect either. There's. There are things missing. Like what? Well, I really want to travel. Hmm. Can't you? Um, yes and no. I just, I still need to meet clients face to face. Couldn't so. you video chat or something? Not with all of them. Oh. Well, if you uh, could travel, where would you go? London, Paris, hmm. Berlin. Um, no, well, wait. Actually, I have been to Paris. Yeah. I just never left the hotel. Really? Well, you know, um, 
I've been to London. Uh, that's where I met Mike. Is that your roommate? Yes, against my better judgment. <laughs> you know, I love him like a brother, but... Oh. oh no, I know. My roommate, Laura, she is in a class of her own. Oh. So, you've got a cool job. You'd like to travel more. What else should I know about you? Any embarrassing secrets you'd like to tell me? On a first date? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I have an unhealthy obsession with hot sauce. Which one? All of them. I have an emergency stash in my purse. Wow, okay then. <laughs> what about you? Cheesy tots. <laughs> Excuse me? Love I... cheesy tots. Could eat them for every meal. <laughs> then my blood might turn to curds. So. <laughs> um, I'm afraid of clowns. Oh, really? <laughs> um, why? Well, let's just say it reminds me of my dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're not going to go running for the hills now, are you? No. Take a taxi, it's much faster. <clears throat> Can I uh, get you anything else? Just to check, thanks. Uh, whenever you're ready, no rush. We should uh, get together sometime, play some games. You know, just the four of us. God help us. <laughs> How are you? Good. Thinking about uh, how to take our act to the next level. Are you, are you watching porn in the living room? Well done, Einstein. Ten out of ten. Did you maybe not watch porn in the shared space? Oh, you're so boring. What's this one called? Guess. No idea. Finnegan's wank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I've got some news. You're gonna stop watching porn in the shared space? Oh, fucking whiny Puritans. No, I've got us a job. Great. What's it this time? Uh, working in a rodeo? Oh, no. Where is it? England. Seriously? No, I'm making it up. Yes, seriously. Limited run at the Roundtree Theatre in London, and then a regional tour. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. How'd you manage that? Well... Look, the production company's got an office here, and in London. They want us to do a show before they commit. Rock. And may I also say, roll. This is fantastic. Well done, buddy. Thanks, mate. So, uh, we should have a drink to celebrate. Hey, I don't want to jinx it. Forgot you're British. You don't get excited. Fuck you very much. I forgot to tell you, I've got some great news, too. Oh, my God. You? With good news? I've started dating. Really? Anyone I know? As a matter of fact... Remember that gig we did for that woman with cholerophobia? Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Fuck, she was hot! Oh, no, hang on. Does she know that you, you know? No. No. Right. And now you're dating. Purpose attack. Okay. Well, that's great. I'm really happy for you. That's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're both thrilled. Okay, time's up. Good job this week. You know, we never did have dinner. I know. It's not that I didn't want to. Ojikane, I understand. It's just... You know? I know. Maybe we could draw the line and start again. What do you say? You know, I have tons of friends who have kids and I've never been to one of their parties. Just in case. It's a shame. 
I mean, who in their right mind would be a clown anyway? Exactly. Clowns are just so stupid. Yeah, they're losers. So tell me more about your roommate. Laura? God, how much time you got? <laughs> um, well, she does software things. She's single. She mm. is. It's been three weeks. Have you told her yet? We agreed to this. Hi! 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 You're hello. Mike! Yeah, hello. How are you? I'm good! <laughs> good. Come on in. So I'm really glad you guys could come over. <laughs> More than happy to. Yeah, it was it was awfully nice of you to invite me. Hopefully. Uh, so where in England are you from, Mike? He's not from England. He's from South Africa. No, he's from England. Yeah, no, she's right. I'm from England. Uh, well done for guessing correctly the first time, by the way. Most people don't. So where are you from in England? I'm from London. Oh, how simply spiffing, old chap. Pip, pip, cheerio. So I heard this joke the other day. There were two old ladies on a beach. Oh my God, that's so funny. Go ahead, Mike, finish the joke. No, it's okay. No, it's okay, I wanna hear it. Yeah, please finish it. No, it's fine, look, it's been built up now. Just finish it. Okay. Um, there are two old ladies on a beach. Naked man runs past. One had a stroke, the other couldn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, one had a stroke. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, darling, she, did, she didn't actually have a stroke. No, she had a stroke. No, it's a play on words, you see? Oh, but, yes. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> well, um, I liked how it rhymed. Mm -hmm. Your people can't spell. Not according to your dictionary. You put you in words where it doesn't belong. Flav hour, it's flavor. Don't even get me started on the silent letters. Why don't you just learn to talk right? I will if you will. Do you want to help me in the kitchen with the pizzas? Shouldn't we wait for the alarm? No, they need preparation. Oh. This is going so well. I know. Maybe we should just order out. Not the pizza, the evening. That's what I meant. So what do we do? Tie ourselves to the mast and ride out the storm. Okay, I don't really know what that means, but I think that we should stay in here until we figure something out. Could be in here a long time. That's a nice painting. It's quite warm with the... The yellows. Actually, it's a little depressing, isn't it? Because where is everybody? They're like the two empty chairs and the, there's a door open. You said you were gonna call. Dude, what the F? You told me not to. Did I? Did I? Uh, yeah, you did. Really? You think it's kind of weird our roommates are dating? No. But it's kind of a coincidence, right? So? Maybe they went to get drinks? Oh my god, I hope so. I hope she's not bringing him down. Look, um, something I've been wanting to talk to you about, um, since they're not here, might be a perfect opportunity. What? Um, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, in the simplest of terms, 
I'm falling for you. What? I'm sorry, did you just say that you're falling for me? Well, when I said falling, the ing implies a verb used as a present participle. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, did you know that it can also sometimes be used as an independent noun or adjective? It can also be used as a gerund. Well, if I'm being completely honest, falling isn't just a present participle. It's also a past tense word. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it something that happened in the past? It's continuing to happen now. I'm afraid I might have given up. I'm afraid I'm running um, Do you want to stay over? Come on. Oh, uh, I thought you guys went to get drinks. Uh, I went to get something to read so I didn't have to talk to Mr. Afternoon Tea. I don't know where... I'm sorry, what's your name again? Mike, was it? I don't know where Mike went. I was just in the loo, at the bathroom. Because I had, uh, you know... <clears throat> bit of a... Frog in your throat? Yes, that's exactly it. Hmm. Well, that pizza smells delicious. I can't believe you were like that tonight. Like what? You're being really rude to Mike. I thought I was being nice. No, you were being rude. P.S. I almost punched you in the nuts. That would have been a neat trick. Well, I would have bought you a bag of nuts and then punched you in them. Yeah, your wife. She has good taste. Not in men. Evening. So, make yourself useful. Give me a drink. Didn't think you were going to show. Neither did I. Look, we had a thing. Which time? Both times. You were asking for it, but it's not going to happen again. You're too needy. You're a clingy little bitch. I'm a clingy bitch. Look, I know you want all of this. You're only human. But there's only so much that can go around. I agree. Never again. Why buy the book when you can browse the library? Exactly. I would. Jesus, how many signals do you need? What? Well, oh, hang on a second. You said. Don't that... tell me what I said. I need you to put that in there. Okay, right, right, let's drink up. Do you have a tab open? No, but I have something else open. Hi. Right. Let's go. Wait, do you have protection? On the time zone. Well, in this one, you're up late. Ugh. Sorry, Mom. Won't happen again. Until next time. Uh, so, you slept with Oscar yet? I'm still pissed about the other night. Why? What did he do? He didn't do anything. I'm talking about you. What the hell did I do? 
Oh, that. You take things too seriously. Listen, have you slept with them yet or not? What? No. Look, Mother Teresa, you need to sleep with a guy to get rid of that sexual tension. You know, show off a bit of tittage. Don't wear jeans. You need to make it easy for him to access the poussoir. Don't make this about me. It is about you. You're gonna need to see if he's actually interested in you or if he just wants to see your titty lalas. Oh, how's the arm? It's like the doctor drove a spear through my tricep. Is that a euphemism? No. Oh, oh yeah. I had an injection like that before I came here. Forgot to warn you. Fuck you very much. Yeah, well, UK Immigration said they'll set me up with an interview date, so now we wait. Great. You know, Denver always wanted to go to England. Really? With the greatest respect, shut the fuck up. Well, you know, I can't help it. They like the same things, Denver and Hazel. Look, you've got to stop thinking about it. If you don't stop thinking about it, mate, she's going to play on your mind. I'm fine. Okay? It, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, 12? Cute. Nice. <laughs> mm. I think I'll order the medium thin crust four cheese pizza. Maybe we should get some new friends. Why would we do that? I, uh, um, I, I don't know. I kind of like the ones we have right now, don't you? Huh? Are you feeling okay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Where were we? God, you make me sick. Um... So, uh, what's your favorite type of music? Are you listening to me? Hey. What, what were you saying? Um, I said, are you listening to me? I was asking about your favorite type of music. Do you prefer her to me? Yes. Yes? Yes? Ooh. Yes, I, uh, I, I think we, we should continue. Okay, good. I'm glad to know you've been listening. Hazel, do you, do you see... Do I see what? What's going on? Nothing. Um, nothing. Uh, favorite type of music, right? Uh, well, I am partial to the blues, naturally, being a Chicagoan. Do you think she's more attractive than me? I mean, she's taller. I'll give her that. Uh, you know, I've been also trying to get into some other types of music recently. Her boobs are bigger. I thought you preferred smaller ones. Well, I like big ones now. Big ones? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a new indie rock band. Big ones, yeah. Oh my god. They're fake. They are not fake. What are not fake? The, the cheeses on this pizza. Um, made from real cheese. Milk. None of that uh, weird fake vegan stuff. Oh, weird. Speaking of weird, she's blonde. Not your type. Right. I will not be ignored. You know, uh, are you free tomorrow? Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm in your memory. Yeah, you know, um, I'm sorry, but I just remembered that I have to be somewhere. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Um, sure. Hi. Hey girl, hey! Some flowers came for you today. Oh, who are they from? I don't know, let me guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. 
I don't have that ability. Um, well, there's usually a note with them. It's true, it did. It said, uh, from you know who. God, he is romantic, isn't he? Well, where are they? In the toilet. What? We don't have a vase. <clears throat> That's pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmother gave this to me for my birthday last year. You remember my birthday last year, right? We passed out all over the bathroom floor. Did I tell you my grandma's having an eye operation? <laughs> oh, is it serious? Kind of. She has a detached rectum, so if she doesn't have the surgery, she'll go blind. I think you mean she has a detached retina. Retina, rectum, either way, it's hard for her to see. Hmm. Did you make this? I figured guacamole would be a good test. They say if you can eat messy food with somebody, you've seen them at the worst. Eating guacamole is me at my worst. I like your worst. Oh, worst job ever. Hmm. I, uh, I oh, once was a sports mascot. I played a dog. <laughs> what was it for? Just some promotional event. Mm. Did your dog have a name? Uh, snuffles. <laughs> you were a dog named Snuffles. I was. Oh, that sounds cute. <laughs> what was so bad about it? Uh, huh. I threw up in my helmet. <laughs> Did they see you do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they, uh... I found out about it afterward. <laughs> oh, and there was a little kid who headbutted me in the nuts. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, but I seriously wondered if I'd ever be able to have kids. <laughs> and can you? <laughs> what about you, huh? What's your worst job? Um, I worked in a lemon as a carnival. What? Mm -hmm. No joke. Fresh squeezed lemonade. You sold lemonade <laughs> yeah. at a carnival. Oh, and also worked in a cheese curd stand. I had to put the cheese in the batter, put the batter in the fryer, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty awful. I think you win. <laughs> oh, you, you've got some... Uh, Something on your cheek there. Oh. Is it gone? I oh, know. Here, let me get it. Can you just be completely honest with me? Absolutely. Is there anything that I need to know? No. Not that I can think of. <laughs> oh, um, there is one thing. What? I adore you. I'm not proud of where I've ended up. I'm ashamed of certain things I've done. Mm. But out of all... This is okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Every time oh, sorry. To be able to do this one hand. Okay, no pressure. Hold on. I almost, is there like a, a button or something? Uh, you no, know, I don't want to kill the moment, but you're really cutting off my circulation. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Here. Oh. Oh. Sorry. No problem. No. Where were we? <laughs> Where were we? I'm 
you know, it's just kind of struck me how disgusting this is. Well, you picked it. Not the flavor, the fact that I'm eating ice cream on the john. Well, that could be worse. You could be, you know, using it. That would be worse. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Thank you for my gift. Ooh, you must think I'm such a terrible person. Your gift? You know what gift. I do? The flowers, silly. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Flowers, of course. Oh, you're welcome. Maybe I'm a nomad. Never in one place Living off of memories Visits to outer space It's a combination of reasons esoteric And personal to me When ancient spells control a situation I leave It's the human in me Are you ready for the best dating advice ever? Okay, I'll humor you. Okay, but this will help you figure out if he's going to cheat on you. How would I ever know that without a lie detector? And even then... Okay, if it doesn't work, it'll be one for the rub tub. What is a rub tub? Rub tub. You know. Rub tub. Oh, Jesus. Just, what's the advice? Okay, if your guy's junk is extra large, he's going to cheat on you. But doesn't that go against size matters? Not really. If his penis is wide and his balls are big, then there's your cheater right there. Science, my friend. Science. Hello. Hi. What were you doing? Uh, well, I was just looking at your penis. So what? I was looking at your penis. What, haven't you seen it already? No, look. Guys with larger than average testicles and wide penises are the most likely to cheat. Laura told me, and I was in some magazine, and of course, I don't believe it for a second, and it's such a stupid idea. But you thought you'd check anyway. Well, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I guess. Um, wait. Uh, and what was your conclusion? Well, let's just say that you are... Average. No, no, God, no, I don't mean like average. Average, no, I, I don't mean that. Um, what I want to say is that, you know, everything looks good. Can we go back to sleep now? Don't forget we've got a meeting tomorrow about the England job. What time? 12 till 2. I'm supposed to meet Hazel for lunch. Cancel it. Cancel it? Yeah. She'll understand. You've got a prior engagement. Look, I'm getting pretty serious about her. You're dating her now, but by the end of the year, you'll be bonking some cute little limey. <clears throat> 
pretty happy with the way things are. What do you want for lunch? Don't mind me. You just check your phone. Sorry, I was just checking the time. Do you have some place to be? No. Unfucking believable. The best you can come up with is sorry. It went out of my head. How the fuck can it go out of your head? Jesus, I didn't think Hazel was going to be a problem. Well, things are different. You could say that again. You're acting like a fucking horny teenager. I'm not going to England. You can't just pull out of the visa process. Why not? If you pull out now, they're going to make it really difficult for you later. Across that bridge, if I ever come... Comedy is what we do. We create laughter. If we don't do that, then what the fuck are we? We're clowns. Oh, fuck you. Mike! So did you check out his, you know, peeny? I am never listening to you ever again. You guys up for another round? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's a government job. President. No, they uh, run into burning buildings. The twats. Yes, but they rescue people. As superheroes. Superheroes is a government job, silly Brit. No, they, um... They have big long hoses. A uh, fireman. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, he comes from a country that historically your people don't like. Wales. Uh, no, the other one. Uh, Scotland. No. Ireland. Australia. Uh, Germany. We're gonna be here all night. There are a lot of countries. America. Shh. Bonjour. Oh, France. Yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, French Revolution. Napoleon. Yes. Time's up. God, that was a long list. There's a lot of people we don't like. Okay, so in that round, you scored three. Everybody quiet. Nobody said anything. Oh, um, you can pick another one. You don't have to do that one. It's okay. I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay, um, children love you. Bullshit. Candy. No, um, you turn up at special events. Santa Claus. No. Tooth Fairy. No, uh, you're popular amongst big groups of kids. Chicken box. I'm a person, Mike. Not in some people's eyes. Not helping. You're an entertainer. Magician? No. Face painter? No. Puppets? No, you don't like them. Spiders? Spiders entertain children? I need a better clue. Oh, I got it. What? What? What is that? It was a clue. No, what is that? Oh, it's a kazoo. Why do you have it? And why were you playing that tune? So what's the answer? A clown. So? Everybody knows that tune. They played it at the circus. But why do you have a kazoo? What are you getting at? I'm just saying it's weird. And uh... well, I had a therapy session and they brought in these two clowns and they played that tune. So? So it's weird is what I'm saying. There's no way that he could have known that, right? I think you're being unreasonable. I've never seen where you work. I've never seen where you work. I work here. Look, I get where you're coming from, but I just happen to own a kazoo. Mike bought it for me. Yeah, I bought him the kazoo. Why? Why not? I mean, look at him. Big fat fingers, long tool, drink a piss. There's no way he can play a real instrument though, right? So eloquent. And I think this little stubby toad came from the same place that gave us Shakespeare. That was a shitty thing you guys did. You're the worst. Yeah, blow me. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm probably overreacting. I'm sorry. I, I don't really think that you're a clown. Thank you. No more of a clown than Laura here, or Mike. While we're on the subject, Hazel, um, how do you feel about clown fish? Ha ha. You want to get together next week? Sure. What do you want to do? Uh, I know someone's having a house party. We could go there. Sounds good. Good. Hey. What I said the other day about clowning, I didn't mean it. 
I mean, I feel is like she here? Is she here? I don't know. Okay, good, good, good. Hello, darling. Hi. Hey, Mike. Hey. Do you bring wine? Yeah, of course. Everybody brings wine. Exactly. So you're basically saying to the hostess, your choice of wine sucks, mine's better. No. What sort of wine did you bring? I brought a rosé. Ugh, odor. What is it with you and rosé? What did you bring? Well, I am going to go open the rosé. Mm. And I will pour you a drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Got the gig rearranged. You did? Yep. Hey, where's Laura? What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. I got you a drink. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, love. Rehashing old times already. Holy shit. Hello, Oscar. Michael. There are only three people in the world that called me that. My parents and a small, curly-haired dwarf. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, Denver. I stand corrected. I saw you, but you got overlooked. Oh, I'm still as witty as ever. Rosanna Black, I thought you liked the strong, silent type. Uh, not working out. It's oh. Somewhere. It's mine, but on another level. <laughs> That's a shame, considering you spent more time on your back than Michelangelo did with the Sistine Chapel. Oh, there's that Irish charm. Not Irish. I'm English. All the same. Isn't it, Michael? Why don't you get a fishing rod and stand in the garden somewhere? <laughs> Are you going to introduce me? I'm his past, you are. His present and his future. This is Denver. Presumably named after the city you were conceived in? That's a little personal, don't you think? Well, could be worse, could be Oshawa. Oh, I see what you did there. I'll leave you to it. Hang on, Hazel. Who's she? You already discovered that? It's a simple question. You don't have to be hostile. Hostile? What a fucking joke. So delicately put, as always. Who do you even know at this party? Chicago's a small city. No, it isn't. Comparatively speaking. Compared to what? Before you started acting like this, I was going to tell you that I made a mistake. What about Xander Black? That's an impulsive fling. An impulsive fling? It was 18 months. Yes. You bought a house together. Yes, that was impulsive. Unbelievable. You hurt me. I can't believe those words are coming out of your mouth. You told me that you were going to be successful. When did I say that? We were going to do all these things, but not until you had a nationally recognized show. That's something you wanted from me. I never could have guaranteed that. I have come to realize that I still love you. You're telling me this now. Better now than not at all. Is she accepting Hazel. of Hazel. Is Hazel accepting of who you are? There's not that many of us around. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oscar. Oscar, I still love you. You know, if I had known that your ex-girlfriend was going to be there, I could have been more prepared. Hey, I didn't know she was going to be there. Look, I don't want you to be concerned. I haven't seen her in a long time. What did she even say? She asked if we wanted to get back together. It's ridiculous. And? And? What do you mean, and? And I told her it's over. I've moved on. No, your ex-girlfriend is here. You have a chance to bail. I don't want that. You don't? No. Well, I don't want it either. This is, this is a big deal for me. I love you. I love you too. Can we just go home? Of course. You said you loved me. As I recall, you said the feeling was mutual. It is. Do you love me more than ice cream? Who says I love ice cream? Oh, you stabbed me in the back. Do you love me more than the food here? That's difficult. It's pretty good. Oscar! Oscar!
Oscar! How do they know your name? Oscar! It must be a different Oscar. Oscar David! I don't know them. We know you from clowning! <laughs> hey, lady, he's a keeper. Tell Mike I said hi. I can explain. Can you speak completely honest with you? I'm afraid of clowns. I mean, who in their right mind would be a clown anyway? No more of a clown than Laura here. Flowers, of course. What is it that you do? Come on. <laughs> no. I can't. Thanks very much for coming in. I'm Amy Grantham, Head of Entertainment for the U.S. Division of HRP Enterprises. These are my assistants, Tom and Chuck. We understand you have a show for us today? Yes, we do. Good. 
You ready? Okay. Take a look at it. My God. Come on. Take a look at it. Come on now. I don't think you're being honest with yourself. What's it really going to do? Nothing. It's okay. You're all right. You're doing okay. On a scale of one to ten. Eight. Okay. I think that's all for this week. You're making definite progress. I think it was a good idea having those two clowns come in. Maybe we should do it again. Once was enough. Of course. This shouldn't be torture. It may feel like it at times. One last question. Uh -huh. Did you get the flowers? There was a note. You know who. That was you? Look, we had something once. Why can't we again? I don't know. Well, it was fun. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah. Remember we stayed up talking until dawn like teenagers? I'm so tired. What a night it was. You know, don't take this the wrong way, but... Uh, I think that you are in love with the idea of me. Someone that you can rescue. I'm not that person anymore. Well, I know, which is why I think we should start fresh. What do you say? Well... We'll do it correctly this time. Come on, make a decision. I'm going to. How hard can it be? Now I'm feeling a lot of pressure. Pressure. There's no pressure. Okay, I, I appreciate all that you've done and the support that you've given me, but I... It was just that one time. For God's sake, make a decision. If you don't, you'll be a fucking coward. We both know that that is bullshit. I shouldn't have even come back here. I don't need you. Have a nice life. Come on. Okay. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon. Up in the sky, I ain't had nobody since January, February, June, or July. Oscar's outside singing. This whole relationship was based on a lie. 
Depends what your definition of lying is. Oh, so you're not a clown. Wait, what are you asking me? Will he be my fuck buddy until the end of time and a bit longer? Okay, I'm into it. Look, being a clown is what makes my life worth living. I bring joy to people's lives. I get excited to do this. And then you came into my life and, and you brought such joy into mine. You accept me for who I am. I don't even know who you are. Look, I know I should have been honest no, with you, No, you've but... been lying to me this whole time! And then you show up here today as a clown! I'm not magically cured! And I, I don't know if, if I can handle you doing anything that you do like this. But... I love you, and I want to be with you, and I'm willing to make this work and to try to be better. But you have to be honest with me. You cannot lie. Maybe me being with a clown is like, oh my God, like complete madness, but I would also be with a man, and that's who I want to be with and, and spend my life with. There is one more thing. Mike and I have a have a job in England. In England? Look, I love you too. This is really important to me. Look, birthday parties are great and all, but I want to do something that'll leave a legacy. Do you understand that? I really need this. And it's going to be a while. For how long? Six months, maybe a year. Well, that's great. I'm really happy for you. Come with me. To England? Why not? I'll have to think about it.
Thank you.